Hello, it's Linda. I'm Linda Parson, and I'm here at Linda's Island, downtown Lytle, Highway 132. And what's going on here is I have to own senior apartments, only seven, where I have seniors living. And to supplement income, what we're doing is buying and selling trash and trailers. We have many antiques and collectibles and a little junk here and there. So I would like to introduce some of our characters that you'll be seeing. General Manager, Mr. Jim Smith. I can be a character, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, uh -oh. and security. Pebbles, and I'll just give you a tour because Pebbles is letting us know we have, great, great sir, come on in. We have a customer that just arrived, see what's going on with him. Which man had I? Okay. Come here. No, no. What is it? Eggs. eggs. Chicken eggs. Okay, we'll, we'll share the chicken eggs. Let's, let's see what's happening. She has, he has a lot of uh, chicken eggs. Okay. He's the one that donates the chicken eggs. So are you donating chicken legs to us today, sir? Are you selling them? Breakfast on me tomorrow, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Adios. Gracias. Thank you. Any and everything happens here on the island. We're a country town, Lytle, Texas is made up of a rural area. We're right along the railroad track. And look what, it's it's share. Look, I'm gonna show. One of our lower customers. Farm eggs. You're in the sun. Pretty so fun. we'll share, we'll get someone to cook breakfast in the morning. Welcome, come on down. So let's, Jim, put these away. And I wanna introduce Norma. And also, the lady in red is here. Her name is Missy. Don't say my last name. I don't got one. <laughs> oh, Missy. Okay. And what's so interesting about Missy is uh, she's been a customer, a friend for 50 years. And she always says, Linda, you're always making a dollar, making money. And how do you do that? You're so smart. And I say, Missy, I'm not smart. I just get out of bed and get up and do it do something so i'm putting her in business now on saturday we're going to have hobo alley in the back and she's going to be in the rags business and i'm going to get up and this is my norma yeah many talented and of course maria hello everyone looking forward to seeing you out here the weather's nice and uh, how many languages do you speak, Maria? One and a half. One and a half. Okay, give us an example, Maria. <laughs> Another day. Well, we're going to do have a little alley. You, you, well, let's do the. Let's show okay, some let's, of these antiques yes. first. Okay. And uh, it's a. How do you feel? I feel better. This is made out of a gourd. Yes, sir. Oh my God, that's nice. It's a little nurse, and she's made out of a gourd. And look what someone did. They just put a few marbles down here. Make her stand up. What? Yes. And no. so there we go with her. A interesting plate showed up. What's this that? one probably come from one of the islands. See the monkeys? Seven dollars. Milk glass. Cabinet eighty-five dollars. A little bust of our price. Three. Oh, okay. Yes, if somebody wanted to stretch it and frame it, if you know somebody and want to give them a gift and they like wrestling, look at Osana. It's all faded and it just gives it more charm. The Lord's Supper plate with the gold trim. A no sewing box. Retro top. Big old yellow buttons. Cowboy boots. This is a slits. The old bear slits. 
just a little medal. It says the beer that made Milwaukee famous. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> we never charge anything for the extra dust. <laughs> you can use it for fertilizer or whatever. Yeah. And we really, in the country, you can't overlook good shoes. Mm -hmm. So you just mix up things. This is an old piece of art. Needle punch. See, that, that's what San Antonio really enjoys. Now, I've got it for $10. Somebody spent a lot of money framing this. Look at it. Professionally framed. And all stretched on here. It's gorgeous. Different. This one is a sort of different, you know. Somebody created, took a, a new lamp, and for that lady that likes the pretty look, <laughs> it's different. Nice, nice. Yes. Old book, cranberry Thanksgiving dolls, cabbage patch, and this here. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. It's just beautiful. It's sixty-five dollars, but it's beautiful. Great big old picture and bow. Look at it. It's got some kind of mark on it. Just beautiful. A lot of uh, antique people would probably come. Oh yeah, to see and research like this. it. Yeah. Oh yeah, know a lot more than I do. And of course, everyone remembers Norman Rockwell. <laughs> Five dollars yeah. a plate. Yeah. No telling. I, I bet someone paid a lot of money for this plate. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. Yeah. Yes. This is. I know this is real. The gold. You know the old glassware, an mm. old jar. Another old one. Mm -hmm. And this one is a bank. Oh my God. <laughs> Looks like a mailbox. Metal. So it comes, it comes in here. And we made that doll. And these. Oh my, my, my. Aren't they pretty? They look yes. like horns. And I remember these from, oh my goodness, way back in the 60s and I had a pair I had some plate some just like this and what happened was when I washed them they turned clear and I thought I ruined them but <laughs> but they're not ruined they'll come back like this oh my very nice very nice stuff this stuff these actually my mother made these <laughs> oh wow she's not with us anymore but my mother was quite a crafter, and I couldn't keep everything. They're uh, pillowcases. Oh, okay. And they are they need to be washed again, I think. They're made out of the fabric known as muslin, okay. which is a very tight woven fabric. Okay. That'll just wash. It's sort of like the old feed sacks. It, you can't see through it. You know, they'll last. But these are like a his. See the little boxers? Oh, yeah. The cases, and look at hers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's got several pair here, and I have them for $10. I want someone to take them and enjoy them. Yeah. Because, I, like I say, I now have a little small apartment as I've gotten older, and I can't keep everything. Yeah. So I, I have these. And I have some old uh, plates down there on the bottom. Okay, yeah. And there's 16 dinner plates. It's 13 pieces, and it's just pretty. I have it for $25. I don't have the full set, but someone can continue to collect. They're beautiful. Home trends, it says. Mm -hmm. I, he I heard. Everybody's into roosters. Oh, yeah. There yeah. you go. What were you going to say, Jim? I, I believe you had something uh, called a thrill. Uh, yes, uh, what I want to do is do this very often and we can do the thrill of the hunt. Okay. And what the thrill of the hunt is, is 
invite people to come out to our rural community, to the cities like Lytle, Natalia, Divine, and all out here for the thrill of hunting a collectible or anything, just enjoy. Stop at our food booths because we're not really big and discovered like the hill country. Mm -hmm. We're South Texas. But you can come out, you might see some Texas Longhorns out here in the field. The blue bonnets this time of year. It's just fun. It's a beautiful sunny day. The thrill of the hunt. The huh? thrill of the hunt. <laughs> because that's the fun. Say you're looking for a certain sugar bowl mm -hmm. or lid. Then, come on. See, like, look. Heidi grows up. I want to show you the other shop real fast. Just to advance a couple of older things. A sleeping bag. You never know what you're finding. Mm -hmm. This vase here is very heavy. I don't know how much it weigh. 20 pounds or something? That is heavy. Mm -hmm. You're growing some pretty roses. $10. I mean, it's thick. Flower vase. Showcase Mr. Uh, Moby Dick. Yes. Come may I showcase? May I show? Dick. I would like to showcase Mr. Moby Dick for those people that are that are uh, seaworthy. And today he's five dollars. So please come by. All right. Where is Moby? Oh, I, I have him here, and I was showcasing him. Oh, precious. Yes, and he's five dollars for the people that are seaworthy. Okay. Another little pirate going. No. <laughs> An old hat with a Budweiser old hat on it. An antique table. Let's go in here and we'll find a few things. You want? Uh, Jimmy, I think we were talking the other day and looking around and you said, this is, I don't even know what it's made out of. I have no idea. Uh, it's not glass. It's not tin, maybe heavy plastic, but what I know is, is that's Burl Ives, an old movie star, and he's advertising Falstaff beer. Oh my God, it's that's... A, so a, if you're collecting beer memorabilia for $3, you gotta have this. Yes, yeah. So, so it's something that no one has found, the thrill of the hunt. Yeah, the thrill. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it means. Yeah. And crystal, pretty crystal bows. And this is a, has a reel, a no reel of some sort, $10. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. One of the oldest pieces of glassware that I found lately, and I found it last week at a yard sale. It's China. It's Nippon. For those that don't know, Japan, it was Nippon, country of Nippon, before they called it Japan. And you know, I really don't know when Japan became Japan. But I know in World War II, it was Japan when we, you know, had World War II. And that was in the 40s, so it's older. And it's good shape. It had gold trim, it's a little worn. But look, 20 bucks, a little tea set. It's probably an antiques uh, treasure. Yeah, so anyone collecting, that is something. But see, it's just with other stuff. So that's why I call it Thrill of the Hunt. You don't come in and see all of these antiques or all of this 10 cent. No, I have it all mixed up. Okay. So you need to come and just look. And ask okay. questions, or tell me what you're looking for, and I'll look for you. Well, um, I, I, yeah. you were saying something like, uh, like uh, you're gonna have like a, a weekend thing, thrill of the hunt, Hobo Alley. Yes. yes. Oh wow. And that's where the little gal Missy comes in. Okay. Because I'm gonna have her back in the back. I'll show you. It's not alive today, but I'll show you quite time. Okay. And explain. It's in the 
I guess the girls disappeared on us, but that's okay. Back back. Okay. Go back here and hold All them. right. Okay. The reason I call it Hobo Alley is by the railroad track. Oh, okay. And I see it. Young people may not know what a hobo is if you don't Google it. Yeah, okay. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I actually had an uncle who was a hobo. Oh. And this was... Railroad track here, but there's a road in between. So, on the back of the property, I could put fences all back here, and I'm going to charge like five dollars. Five dollars, yes. Wow, I want to help the economy of the area. Okay, San Antonio, you're hearing this, so you can come in and bring like a trailer load, you pull your trailer like right here. Okay. Hobo Alley. Hobo Alley. <laughs> Got it. And this area right here. Missy, come here. Missy. Maria, Missy. Come on over. This is uh, going to be Missy's rags. This is what you're going to sell, Missy, come Saturday. I check. Every Saturday. <laughs> yes, ma'am. We have a variety, men's and women, different kind of sizes. I believe this is a, a dollar. Oh, yes, all yes, clothes so are a dollar or two for a dollar. dollar rack. So people can use them. We're not, yes. we make a little bit of money, but people. Yes. Good look. Things. Uh, uh, yeah, I want to see that shirt right there. <laughs> oh my God. It's calling your name, isn't it? Sir? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> see? Oh my God! Mm -hmm. You'll be able to see yourself. Yes. Where is the older? <laughs> and look, here's one with a fifteen-dollar price tag on it right here. Look. Oh my God! I believe it. Yeah. Look, one dollar. What? Uh, excuse me. Uh, you can hang it up right there. <laughs> but uh, it's, all it's amazing. Men and women. Wow. Look at nice that. material. I yeah. wish that was my color. Yes, all we what have to do is pink, pastel, red. She wears red. Yeah. <laughs> but Missy's going to be sale, and Maria is the fashionista. She'll help her get set up in teeth. And who who is Missy? Missy was born in Japan. What? Or were you a war bride or not a war bride, or just a bride? I was just one. Yeah. <laughs> I was in the Air Force. Okay. We retired from Air Force 20 years. You hear that, veterans? Come on out and support us here at uh, yeah. Hobo Alley. Help, help. <laughs> but it's good. Uh, Missy's never done her own business, so on Saturday we have a little shared thing going, and we'll have lots of clothes out here. Well, I'm going to be her first customer. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, this is... Yeah, and other people down here. I have a container for $20. What that container is, it's um, for oil. Oh, really? My son used to have a business here, a mechanic shop. Okay. But uh, he retired from that, went on to other things, and he's had it just this building down here. Okay. Of course, in this building, I have a man you know, that sells jewelry. We'll have things about him later, but uh, we will. remodeling that old building for his... Uh, Jewelry department. So we have lots of, we're building. We're an ongoing business coming up. Yeah. Right, right. Yes. Yeah, definitely. But if anyone has questions, if you figure out someone, then get hold of me. I mean, I love to answer questions from people. Okay. And showcase the poker table. Oh my God. Okay, and you don't have to go to Las Vegas. You don't have to go to Kickapoo. <laughs> you want to come here and sit. Yeah. You can yeah. stay at home and you got your places where you get your drinks. And anybody for a white car step hooker. And Hello. today's price is $25. $25. Wow. Very sturdy. Won't, won't, won't shake up your cards. And don't let nobody look over your cards either. <laughs> yeah. Back in the back is a, is a Victorian antique sofa. But it needs someone to 
build a new life to it. Beautiful carving. It's been around for years, but someone that loves to restore furniture, it has the look. I like that one. Twenty-five dollars. Wow. You want to try it for size? You want to try it on for size? She's going to try it on for size. Uh, uh, watch it. Don't don't fall asleep now. Uh, and it, be careful now. I'm going to swivel. Oh. Hello, Missy. Oh. <laughs> this is she just colored Courtney. It's so nice. precious to have all these neighbors. Lilo has a lot of people, and we'll all see you out here. Right. And I would like to, of course, thank the community for all their support. Uh, Charles Kate, my councilman, gives me all the support. The mayor is getting used to us <laughs> and uh, we have a food booth that will be here in two weeks it'll be a really super hot dog stand he's getting his inspections we're doing the electric for him so it'll sit out front wow and he's gonna have a uh, a combo for five dollars you'll get a like a big old chili dog and he says he's buying the good weenies or hot dog not just a filler but uh, the best okay with chili and cheese all the works or if you have a child he just wants the bun and the weenie well he said have it for a dollar yeah you know, a kid <laughs> that's all they want but i'm looking forward to the the martinez's jerry and gina martinez they'll be out here with their food truck the probably the weekend after easter Weekend after Easter, uh -huh. wow. And I don't know what his days will be. Probably Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm not sure of his days. But you'll see it out front. Oh, wow. It okay. will be, hopefully I'll get to talk to y'all again. Yeah, are you going to have any... Are you gonna have any fruit cups uh, this weekend? I don't know. Okay. Because it's Easter. Oh, it's yeah. Easter weekend, yeah. and that's why I'm not... Uh, planning real big real big. I don't know what the vendors plans are yeah, yeah and also I'll have to get approval now that I'm gonna have a permanent food truck okay then I'll ha I'm gonna have to get I feel like getting an okay from him because uh -huh. he's gonna be paying me this for the spot by the month so anyone selling any kind of food I'll have to discuss it with him okay because i know the belly will only hold so much yeah <laughs> and if i have everybody selling any and everything out here well then we're not that big a market okay. here but big enough just right i think well uh like i said you do have uh your first customer and i'll take these right here okay <laughs> Yeah, okay. nice shirts. That yeah. that's a new one too, ain't it? It is. Open trail. Fifteen dollars. It, oh, it says open trail. Oh, and my. here we're doing the thrill of the hunt. The thrill of the hunt, that's what it is. We're in open trails. <laughs> oh yeah. My goodness. Who is uh who's that gentleman that drives the red truck? You talking about my husband? Yeah, right? well, right. who is Astro. that gentleman? That's my Oh, the Ray, right? I call him Ray Ray. Ray Ray, he's okay. A, he's a biker type personality, and maybe we'll just shoot him and not it on the screen, and he won't know it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's who he is, and he's also uh, maintenance around here. Okay. So, uh, anyone living here, they have a water leak, and he was uh, certainly busy during the snow time. Two water heaters went out. Oh, jeez. Yeah. All of the water, we all. All of us suffered. Oh as, man! As well as San Antonio, you know, a lot of people suffered. Yeah, that snow hit real hard here. Oh, it was awful. Yeah. Okay, but, Maria. I enjoyed everything come, come here. here. Wow, here it take, just. Come here and take the money. We have a sale. Yes, um, the Jaws Department. What you got in Give Maria the money. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't have money. <laughs> you don't have money? I think I got it. Do you have a credit card, sir? We do take plastic here. Oh my God. I, I got yes, you had something that. to trade? I got I got a Mexican Express. <laughs> don't leave the casa without it. Woo, we got it. <laughs> no. No, money's no problem. We always work out things. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> well, thank you uh, very much, Linda, for the thrill of the hunt, the Hobo Alley. 
and all the antiques. I want to thank uh, Lido, Texas, also, right, for letting me uh, welcome me here. Oh yeah, see, we got something else, and see the the show never closes without. This is the thrill of the hunt. Yeah, it is the thrill of the hunt. But when you come, it says Linda's Island. There's a donut shop. This is Highway 132 coming right through Lionel. Entrance. Entrada. Entrada. <laughs> and that's where you that. go into the shops. You see things. Down here, Hobo Alley. You can cut right through there. Go around. Through here. Okay. There are four ways to get in there. A lot of stuff here. Oh, yeah. But I, I thank you for everything. And um, now... You know, I want San Antonio to know that there's a gold mine here. Thank you. And uh, thank you for discovering it, Mr. Jimmy. Oh yeah. You're a great producer. Oh well, thank and, you. And I'm glad that you suggested this. Yeah. Because, like I say, it's not just my income, but my seniors that live here. We all have a little piece of this. Wow. And you know, when you're just fixed income, an extra twenty hundred dollars or something makes a difference. Yeah, it does. And, and it's a good value. All right. We're not asking for donations. I mean, we have something to show. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, and I will see you on the TV show. Okay. Thank you. All right.